Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Tricky Maths Part 11. Question. How do we calculate N with an exclamation mark next to it? What does this actually mean? The way we say it is N factorial. That's how we say it. Where N is a positive whole number. So let's proceed to the next slide to see what we do. In earlier videos we saw how to calculate n factorial, where n is a positive whole number. n factorial was n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 etc times 2 times 1. So if we have a particular value of n, to work out n factorial we multiply n by the number immediately below it, by the next number below it, and we carry on till we multiply by 2 by 1. So that's how we work out n factorial. Here's a simple example. 3 factorial. If we use the rule on the previous slide, we have 3 factorial equals 3 times 2 times 1. And that gives us 6. So now we know how to calculate n factorial, and here's a, a particular example. But how do we use n factorial in real life? How is it useful in real life? Okay, well let's have a look at this example. Imagine we have three objects in a row. So we've got a square, a circle, and a triangle. In how many ways can the above three objects be arranged in a row? That is one particular arrangement where the square is first, the circle is second, and the triangle is third. So how many arrangements are there that are all different? The three objects can be arranged as follows. So that is the arrangement on the previous slide. There's the next arrangement. We'll keep the square first and then we just swap those two around. Then we put the triangle first and we put those two. Keep the triangle first and swap those two around. Then we have the circle first and those two. Keep the circle first and swap those two around. So you can see quite clearly there are six different ways of arranging those three objects. So there is one example of how we can use factorial in real life. So, in real life, n factorial tells us in how many ways n objects can be arranged in a straight line. In the previous slide, we saw that 3 factorial told us that three objects can be arranged in six different ways in a straight line. Stay tuned for more exciting exercises on factorials in the next video.